Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Amy's Crypt. I am currently just outside Bucharest in Romania. I am headed to a very haunted and cursed monastery that has been left in ruins. I'm going to take you there, see uh, what, how much of it we can uh, check out, tell you a bit about its ghost stories, and yeah, should be fun. Long story short, it's really hot out here and we didn't bring any water because <laughs> we're super smart people. All right, we're almost there and this place actually looks really cool. But one thing that you guys can't see on camera is that I think there's a big dump or a tip behind the monastery and it kind of stinks. Alright guys, so behind me is the Chiajna Monastery, at least I think that's how it's pronounced. Pre Please correct me if I'm wrong. But this ruin here was actually quite a very large and important church for its time. It was built in the late 1700s and by the time its construction was finished, it was never actually consecrated as a church because uh, it was attacked by the Turks who came for this building thinking that it was actually a fortress. So after that, the locals kind of thought that this area was cursed and it never actually uh, fulfilled its purpose of being a church or a monastery. Its next purpose in life was to actually house plague victims and it's said that many many people died within the monastery's walls um, being very very sick. After that a massive earthquake destroyed the tower at the top of the monastery and its bell went missing. That brings us to the place's first ghost story is that even though the bell <laughs> the bell the bell Ooh, the bell. That brings us to this place's first ghost story, and that is that even though the bell is missing, and many people believe that locals took it and threw it in a nearby river, at nights, particularly on full moon nights, people still report to hear that bell chiming. And some people even believe it is the lost souls of plague victims calling out for help that died within the monastery. But it is the daughter of Lady Chiajna, which is the most famous ghost that is said to haunt this area. Now, her apparition has been seen around the fences that surround the monastery here. And the reason why she's still here is because she decided to betray her mother by running off with her lover. After her mother found out and had her captured, she also had her killed. So her spirit is said to linger here, making this monastery very haunted. Oh, there's a dog in the haunted monastery. Don't, Sorry. don't touch him. I won't. Oh, but he's crying. He wants a don't. Pet. What are you doing, he's so big. What are you doing in there? Oh, he's sad. Oh, what's up? What's up, buddy? <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Uh, sorry I can't take you in there guys, they've got a vicious guard dog <laughs> um, and it's fenced off. Uh, we might go around and see if we can explore a little bit more of the ruin, I'll, I'll take some more uh, shots of it, get a bit more footage. I've also heard that there is a cemetery nearby so that might be something else that we can go check out. <laughs> So the monastery is really cool. You can see the tower on top that's uh, super crumbled. There's a little property here as well. I'm not really sure what that is, but they have a lovely, really cute pony in the front yard. So 
so unfortunately that place is all fenced off and I can't access it and take you in for a proper look around or investigate. There is a cemetery nearby so I'm going to take you there for a, and we'll have a look around and hopefully that's something cool that we can add into this video as well. So the cemetery is just beside me. Unfortunately, it is closed for maintenance at the moment, so we can't go in and take a look. It's breaking my little heart a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and learning about this Romanian ghost story. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're looking for a bit more reading on haunted locations, head to amyscrypt.com. Until next time.